there it is. That amazing, angelic music that changes every DLC, but is amazing every single time. Funny story. When I get one of my friends to play Lightfall, the first thing he said was, Holy... This music is angelic. I'm making this video just to show the love, my love, for the game, despite all the things that are happening at this current moment in time. This time period of Destiny I have almost no knowledge on from personal experience, but by looking at old footage, I recognize the Taken King trailer, or TV spot, whatever you want to call it. I have no idea where or when I saw it, but it's probably around the time period that Taken King came out. The reason I'm including it is pretty much it's probably the first time I interacted with Destiny, and I didn't even know I'd be interested in it. Just couldn't wait, could you? For what? Papa Bear's a no-show. Uh, he's right behind me, isn't he? Oh, man. You killed his son? Yeah, been working on my apology all week. Also just want to mention that this was considered the savior of Destiny, so... Despite none of the other Destiny 1 DLCs being on here, I had to include this just because everyone, literally everyone I've seen, has said it was the best DLC out of all of them, besides Forsaken. So this area is probably where I have the most story. Um, this area, this section, whatever you want to call it, I'm going to include Red War, Curse of Osiris, Warmind, and Forsaken, since I joined during Forsaken, and I actually played all the previous DLCs, or expansions, whatever you want to call them. The main reason I started, or, I started in Forsaken, but I had an interest in it since mostly 2017. Like, obviously, if you're not including the Taken King trailer that I was talking about in that section, um, when I truly, truly got interested, I was watching my dad play the beta in our living room on the TV. During Red War, Curse of Osiris, and Warmind, there are a couple things I do want to show you. There's not a ton of crazy stuff, besides, like, I love the Leviathan raid. I probably have every item on Hunter and all the weapons and, like, maybe even the full set for Warlock and Titan. So yeah, that was a great raid. I love that raid. And let me show you something from Warmind that I will never forget dropping. Or not, I didn't get it during Warmind, but j just watch. All right, so we're having some live footage here at the vault. Um, We're gonna pretend half this isn't here, okay? I do not have three of these. You don't understand. But it's on this page. This beautiful thing. Dropped during an escalation protocol or whatever it was called on Mars. This thing is never getting dismantled. Okay? This thing is literally the only reason I still play. Just because this thing's in the vault. Never felt better. <sighs> you heard him. The game has never felt better. Forsaken was just a time period of just amazingness. Season of the Forge was amazing. Er, first off, the Forsaken story was great. Two locations, Dreaming City and the Tangled Shore. So we had then we had the Season of the Forge, great weapon pool. Season of the Drifter, not everyone's favorite. Uh, I didn't really like the Reckoning, but Gambit Prime was a good idea. Um, and Season of Opulence, widely considered the best season in all of Destiny 2. I remember just grinding it, grinding the Menagerie, 
just and then you could get the chest multiple times i remember if you went like out of bounds like out of the area and it refreshed the chest <laughs> so yeah me and my friends grinded that a lot we used to grind the crucible for the uh recluse which if you look back at the old aikilo shotgun um clip that i put in this video you can see it that thing is still sitting in my vault just because of the memories of it and then season of the forge i'm working backwards here season of the forge was not my favorite but the raid was great i didn't really play the raid that much i think i have like six clears on it but yeah I, the, all those seasons had great loot pools and just great content and i'm not saying we don't have great content now but compared to now it is better but also at the same time right after forsaken shadow keep comes out you have no idea how excited i was for this dlc I was watching the trailer twice every day, getting hyped for it, and then it came out, and I quit almost immediately. Just, just the season. I feel like what made Forsaken so good wasn't just the story. That was it was it was a good story, good um, locations, but Shadowkeep. The moon wasn't bad, but Shadowkeep's seasonal content is what made it bad for me. Season Undying. I'm sorry, the loot pool sucked. The activity sucked, but I can't really talk about Season of the Dawn because I did hear it was one of the better Shadowkeep seasons. Along Arrivals wasn't that bad. I did play Arrivals, uh, Season of Arrivals, I think it's what it's called, something Arrivals. It wasn't bad, but overall, Shadowkeep sucked. And I'm not even going to mention Season of the Worthy. That season needs to rot in hell. Although the first season of Beyond Light itself kind of sucked, I really enjoyed the Ice Seam DLC during like close to winter time. I remember coming home from school, my dad playing in it, and I was immediately hooked back into the game. Although Sunsetting existed, or exists, whatever you want to say, I didn't really mind because I would always have stat trackers and stuff like that to go back and look how much time I spent or invested in all those like obsolete weapons, you could pretty much say. My time back was great. I was enjoying the new raid, Deep Zone Crypt. Uh, when the new season came out, like Season of the Chosen, I was on lockdown due to a certain, you know, a thing. Um, but the season that came out, which was Season of the Chosen, was absolutely amazing. I ended up taking a break after during Splicer, just because I was just playing other stuff and I just got bored. But Season of Lost, um, I came back, I played some 30th anniversary stuff, and that was really it because I came back for Wish Queen and then I just didn't play. I was playing other games with friends, so I think that's mainly why. But then there came Lightfall. Finally, here we are. These two seasons have been considered really bad, but I've really enjoyed them, as you could tell, like I enjoyed Season of the Hunt. There's not much to say besides the fact I've got a little competitive in <laughs> doing solo flawless and even raid seals like rare nightmares but i'm gonna use this to wrap up the video because if you remember in the beginning of this video i started with um how the main highlight of lightfall is just the controversy like there's a lot happening right now but i feel like on this video i hope you could see that even though some people might not enjoy a time period or it might just be bad it might just be not even like an opinion it might just be bad but you could still enjoy it another thing i want you to realize is i know i don't speak for everybody but there's there were so many times where i quit came back quit came back there were also so many times where there was a good dlc <clears throat> forsaken and then there was a bad dlc shadow keep maybe this is the bad dlc and Witch Queen was the good one. I don't really have a lot of say since I didn't really play Witch Queen. But the story was amazing. And yeah. One more thing. I'll see you all during the final shape. Yeah, me too, kiddo. But hey. I'm here now. 
wherever the hell here is. Thank you.